Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com So another Heathkit SP220, I figured I'd make another video. I work on lots of these, at least three or four a week. So this one had a lot going on with it. Something different, and I'll point out, um, kind of prompted me to make the video. So my phone number is 203-892-4119. Please like share and subscribe at the end really appreciate it or any time during the video so this belongs to a ham I uh, went through it I put the Harbach metering board in Harbach filter cap board like I've said before I strongly suggest putting some silicone around the caps just a little bit you know between the plastic pieces and the actual caps this is the short cap kit shorter caps, a solder into the board stops them from being able to migrate out if this loosened up. So, replace the high voltage lead, meter lamps, put the series glitch resistor in, plate tune cap was loose, uh, that's this cap right here, the connections to ground were loose, changed the plate blocking cap, put in brand new 2 watt 50 ohm uh, carbon cop resistors, rewound them, new copper, clean the output rotary switch. I prefer these. I've seen the other ones fail, the red type, uh, like this right here. So I always swap them out. I always put a 100G Corp or equivalent in right off the bat. Fan's good, so I didn't have to change that. Put sideways here. Okay, so the uh, TR relay coil was open, so I had to replace that. Um, put in the soft key kit from Harbach. Zip tied all the wires, nice, nice. New cap, new electrolytic cap for the 90 volt. Winding, rectified uh, winding come off, coming off the uh, filament transformer. I directly grounded the grids. Nice copper strap. All three pins on each socket. Did the bias modification, self bias instead of the force bias. I checked the SO239 connectors, they're good. Oh, so someone, whoever put this together, did not solder the connection coming off the output rotary switch. It was just the solid conductor wire was uh, looped around the connection and pinched. It was not soldered, so I went ahead and soldered that. Give it some more clearance between the strap and chassis ground. So this thing's good to go. I was also missing some screws and stuff, so I added those. So, I'll be making another video after this of a uh, AL572 I did. Customer wanted me to make a video, so I have a whole pile of boxes to get to, one at a time. I don't like to rush. Um, I don't want any issues after it leaves, so I make sure everything is perfect. Oh, the nuts were loose on the sockets also. I tighten those up. So... Thanks for watching. Lots more to come. Subscribe and you'll get a notification when my next video pops up. Lots going on here. Take care.